But let's do number two when it comes to drugs, alcohol, and other addictives. We get a lot of guys out there that will point and sputter at those that might drink and others might point and sputter at those that consume cannabis and they're at each other. It's all the same thing, guys. If you have a drinking problem, if you have an addiction problem, whether that's to shopping, returning things at stores, drugs, recreational drugs that run your life, prescription drugs, any of these addictives, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to classify them all as addictives, are ultimately coming from toxic people. These guys that can't make something, again, I have to watch my language here. You have to be able to walk away from things and make it your B-I-T-C-H, okay? People often say, hey, you know, is there anything wrong with uh, smoking a doobie every once in a while? No, it's legal. It's completely legal. You can buy it from the state now. You know, the government sells it here in Ontario. In many places in the world, it's, it's completely legal. There's nothing wrong with it. But does it run your life? Are you on it all the time? Can you, like, is it something that enhances what it is that you're doing? There's other people that it's not. It's a, it's a complete detriment. It's an anchor for them, right? Alcohol, in my opinion, is probably one of the worst. A lot of people will be like, oh, you know, I'm very healthy and I work out and look at me and I'm a strong guy and all this sort of stuff, but they guzzle alcohol like it's going out of style. I don't care if you're doing it for showmanship purposes because you're cracking bottles of bubbly and, you know, expensive whiskeys. Been there, done it. Who cares? It's not impressive. These are all addictives, okay? These are things that toxic people allow to consume and run their lives. You need to get good at avoiding them. It's quite simple. People that are into addictives, and again, I'm going to repeat that, guys. It's not just drugs and alcohol. It's also people that have personality issues that are addictives. Um, I dated this girl once that used to have an addiction to buying stuff, bringing it home, and then returning it. I'm not even kidding. Buy four lamps. There's one end table, and she'd have to try them all out on the table. And the ones that she didn't like, she would return them back to the store. Three would go back to the store, one would stay. Sometimes not even one would stay. All four would go back because they wouldn't fit the decor of the room or something like this. This is an addictive, okay? When you spot these peoples, these people, arm's length. It's as simple as that. They're not a sail. You know, they're not going to fill your sail with wind and carry you forward to your next port of call. These people are anchors. They're going to hold you back. They are an energy vampire. 